test the squaring on your steel track, you will need a sheet of rigid but easy to cut material such as card or PVC foam board, a 5mm Allen key and two 17mm open-ended spanners or wrenches. Place the board centrally under the clamp in portrait position and clamp in place. Use the utility blade to make a small cut in the top edge of the board. Lower the cutter and plunge the blade in a short distance up from the bottom edge and cut down. Flip the board over as demonstrated and insert the blade into the lower cut. Make sure the board is in full contact with the horizontal squaring arm and apply the clamp. Make a second cut at the top edge of the board. If the blade enters the previous cut, then your steel track is set correctly and does not require any further adjustment. If the second cut is either to the left or to the right of the original cut, the next step is to adjust your steel track to align the blade so that it will cut exactly in the middle. Use a 5mm Allen key to loosen the two screws that fix the squaring arm to the legs. Then use a 17mm spanner or wrench to ensure the right hand central nut is tight. If so, then loosen the nut on the left hand side. Place the blade into the lower cut as before, ensuring the board is in full contact with the squaring arm, but don't clamp it. If the second cut is to the right, turn the squaring adjuster knob clockwise from below. If it's to the left, turn anti-clockwise. Count the number of turns you make to gauge any further adjustments that may be needed. Turn the squaring adjuster knob and check where the machine will cut using the sightline strip as a guide. Make sure the board stays in contact with the squaring arm. Move the board along to repeat the squaring test. If the two cuts still don't align, then make further adjustments and test until they do. Then tighten the screws and central nut to lock the steel track into position. Your steel track is now adjusted and ready to use.